Hi, my name is Emily Sinkhorn. I am the Environmental Services Director for the City of Arcata. And the Environmental Services Department covers a vast range of services. We maintain um, and enhance all of our parks and open spaces and community forest here in the city. So that's upwards of uh, like 30 different parks and 2,500 acres of community forest land. We also maintain a whole network of trails, nearly 40 miles of trails within the city. Um, and we also implement all of the city's sustainability and environmental programs. And then we also span a whole other essential services for our water and wastewater and streets. So we maintain the Arcata wastewater treatment plant, um, which utilizes land based um, enhancement of our wastewater goes through treatment marshes and enhancement marshes that really add additional habitat value to our coast. So we, we cover a lot in our department and I'm excited to be here today to share a little bit about the community forest and the opportunities for people to get out and enjoy the forest, learn a little bit more about its history and its function, um, and also really enjoy taking a walk and learn how to navigate within the forest. Well, we're coming in from the Granite Avenue trailhead that's off of Granite Avenue. It's really close to several of the HSU um, dorms, so Jolly Giant Commons and other dorms. So this is a really easily accessible way from HSU to get to the community forest. So we're walking right now through HSU property and then we'll get into Arcata's community forest. And what's great is it's really contiguous. We, you wouldn't really know the difference. So it's great to have that collaboration between HSU and the city. Yeah, I just hope that people um, really know about the community forest as a community asset and as an asset to the HSU community. It's easily accessible just right up the hill east of campus um, and is a great way to get a break, breathe in the fresh air, feel the just appreciation of getting to be in the forest and in nature right up from our community. I mean, that's why I love living here and having that easily accessible public space. So we've been talking about what a recreational asset the community forest is, and there are several tips that the city has to really ensure that you have a great time and also that everyone can feel safe and welcome to use the trails themselves. So a key thing, um, you can walk in the forest with your dog or dogs, and that's a great way to get exercise for the whole family. Um, but we really emphasize keeping dogs on a leash um, really can help in ensuring the dog's safety safety and the feeling of safety for other trail users and it is the law per the Arcata Municipal Code. Also picking up after pet waste will help many trail users that uh, come behind you. Um, also our trails um, are designated for different user groups. Many trails are multi-use for uh, horse riding, cycling, and walking or running. Um, and making sure to yield to equestrian users, including dogs, um, is very, very helpful and can maintain the safety of equestrians. And also for cyclists, there are many trails to enjoy and a key reminder is to stay slow going down some uh, steep gradients, especially around curves where you may not know if there's some other trail users just around that curve. And there is a, a lot to maintain in the forest. And we have an amazing crew of really only three people that maintain these thousands of acres. So a key thing is staying on our existing trails and the city um, will keep collaborating with community members and organizations to plan additional trail miles. But please stay on our designated trails.